found out I'm pregnant again. Everything started going really bad. I lost my job. The water got turned off. Our lights got cut out. We were out of food completely. We didn't eat for three days. I knew we were gonna be evicted soon. So they go to bed hungry again and that's when I put their last diapers on. I remember it says in Matthew, you know, you seek righteousness and you will be filled. Their daddy said, you know, a miracle is going to happen in the morning. And that's the last thing I remember that night. And I, I didn't even know how to accept that. Like, I was like, you know, uh, yeah, I really hope so. When my family and I moved to the U.S., I was preparing for my graduate work when we found out I was pregnant again. My husband was very happy. He really likes children and often spoke of having more. This was not in the plan and would interrupt all of the plans I had made to continue my education. Here I am going into my third year of college and I'm finding out I'm pregnant. And I remember just thinking, what am I going to do? I knew then that I had disappointed my parents and I didn't want them to know that so I just wanted a quick fix because I'm not going to have this baby, I'm getting rid of it. My daughter is two years old and her name is Amy. She is so calm and it challenges me to be a better person. I think my daughter is wise and smart. I think there is a great need for CareNet in this community. There are many people like me in transitional periods. Even though I can't continue my education, CareNet has taught me so much about being a mother, which has built my confidence and made me happy to raise and teach my child. Thank you, CareNet, for all you have done for my family. I agreed to go to CareNet. She asked me right away, do you want to look at the ultrasound? And without even thinking, I instantly said yes. I remember feeling, hey, that's my baby. I can't give this baby up. I can't not have this baby. That's my child. And just listening to his heartbeat was very overwhelming and touching, but I knew then that I had a choice to make and I was gonna go through with my pregnancy. this precious gift now. Um, yes, I might be going through this. Yes, I might be going through that. But God can see me through anything. He had given me this precious little baby for a reason. To get me through those hard times. To pull me through. To make me even stronger. And I'll look at my son and <laughs> with tears streaming down my face. And I know that we're going to get through this. And I sit there and I tell him often. No matter what, we're going to get through this. God didn't bring us this far to leave us. I saw Karenette across the street. It was like I just locked in on it, and um, something just drew me there. I don't even think I stopped in the middle of the street to look for cars, but I walked in, and it was just like a peaceful feeling. And I met Janie, and I was going to see if y'all maybe just even had just some diapers. She took me to the counseling room, and she was just like, you know, asking me questions, but in a way that was not judging, and she was just there to listen. At that point, I surrendered, and I just told her everything. She has another lady with her. It was Miss Deborah. I remember looking in her eyes, and it was like the light in her eyes were blinding to me, and it was uh, overwhelming, and I didn't even know this lady, but she said um, that God had put it on her heart to help girls like me, and uh, out of nowhere, she says, I have a house that you can live in for free. Um, it's completely furnished if you wanted it yours. And I was like, can you say that again? She said, all you have to do is the right thing. You know, you, we want you to rebuild your life, um, get a job, and do the right thing like you want to do, and that's all you have to do. No such thing is too I felt like bricks with each step was coming off of me. And I, I tell the boy's daddy, you know, um, I just met these ladies at CareNet. Here's food, here's diapers, um, and they have a house that we can live in. And he's like, well, what are you waiting on? You know, go. This is, this is the miracle. Come.